So wait down nice, welcome to this video lesson on Fabulae Cirae 29.5 Niobe. We're picking up at 345. Uterque igitur ad urbin. Therefore, each of them, um, and then ad urbim goes with the verb at the end, peruenit, uh, arrived at the city. Inqua Niobe cum libri suis habitabat in which Niobe lived with her children. Uh, and the each here refers to Apollo and Diana. So they both arrived at the city. Prope monia erat latus campus. Near the walls, there was a wide field. In quo curve solebant equi, in which um, horses were accustomed to run. Et juenis curru certabant and young men uh, competed in a uh, chariot. Ibi con skinderant equos duo exceptem niobes filiis. Uh, two out of the seven of Niobe's sons had mounted or had climbed atop horses there. Primus vero, but the first, cum equum currentem eo concilio veteret, when he was turning his running horse, okay, equum currentum, running horse, eo concilio, with this idea, all right, and then we get the ut clause to explain with which idea he was turning it, ut ad urbim rediret, in order that he might return to the uh, city, hel mihi subito exclamavit, he suddenly exclaimed, woe is me, Hell me, he is like, alas for me, woe is me. Sagita in medio pectore percusus, having been stricken, percusus, or having been hit, we could say, in the middle of his chest, in medio pectore, by an arrow. Sagita, that's an ablative of means, with or by means of an arrow. Habenis ex morint morientibus manibus de lapsis, uh, with the reins having slipped, habenis de lapsis, ablet of absolute, from his dying hands, ex morientibus manibus, Ioannis, the young man, ad dextro latere ad teram cacidit, fell to the ground on the left side. Adito sono, with the sound having been heard, frater, his brother, this is the second boy there, Hui Proximus Erat, who was nearby, or very nearby, Equum Suum Verga Pulsat, uh, hits his horse with his switch. Okay, Virga is kind of a flexible rod or switch, and here we're talking about a sort of, um, kind of like a riding crop or something, right? Ut curat, in order that he might, may run, or should run, and that is to say, this explains why, this is a purpose clause explaining why he hit him with the virga, with the switch, so that he would run. Fugientem autem adolescentem sagita ex opolinis arcu misa consequitur et in colo figitur. Uh, moreover, an arrow... Um, sent from Apollo's bow, catches up to the young man, consequitur autolescentum, running away, fugientum, and it is fixed in his neck, figitur in colo. Labitur ile, he falls down, in equi ubam, onto the mane of the horse, uh, yuba refers to long hair near the face of an animal, so here the mane of the horse, it can also be a lion's mane. Okay, so he falls down onto the mane of the horse. Et terram caledo sanguine foidat, and he befouls the earth with warm blood. Ooh, nasty. Tertius et quartus ex filiis, the third and the fourth of the sons. Posquam operi quotidiano finem imposuerant, after they had put an end to their daily work, 
in palaistron iwerant, had gone to the palaistra, the wrestling ground, ut validiora corporis membra facerent, in order that they might make their limbs of or, uh, the limbs of their body, membra corporis, stronger, validiora. Cum vero, but when, yam alter alterum luctando complectorator, one of them was embracing or maybe you know grabbing around the other luctando um, in their wrestling una sagita one arrow eos ita junctos transfixit one arrow transfixed or in other words pierced them joined thus Eos ita juntos, them joined thus. Now that is to say, they're wrestling and one of them was grabbing around the other one and the same arrow, shot by Apollo, right, pierced through both of them. Simu clamaverunt, they together shouted out, ob dolorem, uh, on account of or because of the pain. Remember, ob is a synonym for propter. Simur mimbra in solo posuerunt, Together they put their limbs on the ground. They sort of collapsed, right? Simul oculos clauserunt. Together they closed their eyes. Simul denique animam e flawerunt. Together, at last, denique, they breathed out their breath. Or perhaps even their life, okay? Because anima can be breath or life. Alfenor filiorum quintus. Alfenor, the fifth of the sons, eos cadente suspicit, um, uh, looks at them falling. Et continuo occurrit, and straight away he runs up, ut frigida corpora complectatur, in order that he may uh, embrace or hug their cold bodies. Cadet et ipse, he himself also falls. Nam Apollo, for Apollo, intima viscera ei rumpit ferro, um, bursts his in, inner um, entrails or his inner organs, intima viscera, uh, with iron. And the iron here, of course, would be the arrowhead. Cumero, amici, but when uh, their friends qui apodeum stabant, who were standing uh, by him, ferrum eduxerunt, um, took out the iron, una cum sagita cruinta pars pulmonis est extracta, along with the one bloody arrow, part of his lung, pars pulmonis, is dragged out. Ooh, this is really gory. Dama sicton, Sextus filius, Dama Sicton, the sixth son, Percusus erat, uh, had been stricken in ea corporis parte, in that part of his body, ubi crus incipit, where the leg begins. Dumque manu conatur trahere telum, and while he's trying to draw out the um, weapon, telum, with his hand, Manu, altera sagita, another or a second arrow, et e colum transfixit, uh, pierced his neck. Uh, literally, it pierced the neck for him, uh, et e is a dative, but we would say pierced his neck. Ultimus, the last, nomine Ilioneus, by the name of Ilioneus, oravat, begged, ut sibi di parcerent, that the gods should spare him. Apollo eius precibus lacrimisque animo moebatur. Apollo was moved by his prayers and tears in his mind, that is to say, in Apollo's mind, he was moved by um, this last one's prayers and tears. Said sagita yam misa, but the arrow already sent, revocari non potrat, was not able to be recalled. Okay, so he had already let loose the arrow when he felt maybe that he shouldn't have. Okay, so they're all dead, all seven sons. 
Flamores Peruaneron ad aures matris, the shouts had reached the ears of their mother. Cui quiwes maesti filiorum mortem nuntiaueront, uh, to whom these sad or gloomy citizens, quiwes maesti, uh, uh, reported the death of her sons. How, alas, quam dissimilis fuit haec niobe, how different was this Niobe? Ab illa quae Paulo ante superba quibus desuaserat ne latonam colorint. Um, from that one who, a little bit earlier, arrogant, superba, had um, persuaded her citizens that they should not. Um, worship Latona or Leto. Now you could say had dissuaded her citizens from worshiping Leto. Another way we could translate that. Quid faciam? What should I do? Clamabat, she shouted. Quid sperim? What should I hope for? Quo modo wiwam post hoc sine filiis meis? How should I live after this without my sons? Tam misera erat, she was so sad, ut etiam eius inimici lacrimarent, that even her enemies were crying. Se pro jecerat, she had thrown herself in frigida corpora on their cold bodies, et omnes filios osculabatur, and she was kissing all of her sons. Dende tolent brachia ad caelum, then lifting her arms, brachia, towards the sky. She says, inquit, Pasque ferrum cortum meo dolore crudelis latona wikisti. Now, pasque is from pasco, pascare, and it means to feed. So feed your wild heart, ferrum cortum. Uh, it's like her, she's basically comparing Latona to a wild animal, right? So your wild, fierce, wild animal sort of heart. Meo dolore, feed it with my pain. Cruel Leto, crudelis Latona. And then we kisti, perfect tense, you have won, you have beat me. Lacrimabat, she was crying. At postea, subito. But later, suddenly, cur wikisti, mihi et si misera sum, plura manent quam tibi. Why you have conquered? For me, even if I am miserable, more remain than to you. Okay? Quae Felix esse dikeres? You who are said to be. Uh, happy or lucky, Felix. Ad hoc septim habeo filias. I still have seven daughters. Oh, come, come on, Niobe, you shouldn't say this. Etiam post tot filios mortuos. Winko. Even after so many dead sons, I win. Winko. No, you don't, Niobe. You don't win. All right, and there we see in the clouds both Apollo and Diana, or to use her Greek name, Artemis. And yeah, she's going to kill some people too. All right. Ne dixerat quidim haik. She had not even said these things. Cum aliae sagitai ex Dianae arcu, when other arrows from Diana's bow, misai sunt, were sent, were shot. Quae non unam niobem, sed omnes qui aderant terruerunt. Which not only scared Niobe, but all of those who were present. Subito, suddenly, sex sorores, the six sisters, quae atris vestimentis vestitae stabant, who stood there uh, clothed in their dark garments, of course, they're wearing black because they're grieving for their brothers. Ante corpora fratrum, in front of the bodies of their brothers, et matrim, and their mother, 
um, consolare con avanzer were trying to console their mother. Let's see, let's see, who were, okay, I, sorry, going back, subito, sex sorore, suddenly the six sisters, quae atris vestimentis vestitae stavant ante corpora fratrum, uh, who were standing in front of the bodies of their brothers, clothed in their dark garments, and were trying, okay, et conabanter, and were trying to console their mother, okay, that's a better way to translate that, I messed that up the first time, Alia post aliam, one of them after another, kekideerunt, fell down. Neque mortem efugere potuerunt, nor were they able to flee death. Ultimam, toto corpore mater tegebat, the mother covered the last of them with her whole body. Clamans, shouting, Una minimamque relinque mihi. Leave me one and the smallest ex multis minimum posco et unam. Out of the many, I am asking for the smallest and just one. Dunque rogat, and while she asks, ultima quoque interficitur. The last one is also killed. Ah, oh, Niobe. Sedet tunc niobe. Um, Naobe then sat, sat down. Inter filios, filiasque mortuas. Uh, among her dead sons and daughters. Ipsaetiam ferre mortua. She herself, even almost dead. Okay, ferre is like, I usually translate it as pretty much, um, but you can say almost. Notice they give you the synonym pine in the margin. So, she herself almost dead. Nulla membra moebat. She moved none of her limbs, right? Totally still. Emotis oculis, with her eyes unmoved. Ante se spectabat. She looked in front of herself, straight ahead, kind of a dead gaze, I guess. Ipse sanguis in vanis constitit. The very blood in her veins stopped. Nec caput yam flectebatur, nor was her head moved now. Nec brachia tolebantur, nor were her arms being lifted. Etiam viscera saxum errant facta. Even her, her, her um, organs, her inner um, parts, right? Viscera is your organs or your guts. Even her organs inside her were made stone, or became stone. Flante validissimo vento, with the strongest wind blowing, in altum montem est vecta, she was carried onto a high mountain. Now that's a real trick, to blow a stone through the air, but I guess if you're a god you can do that. All right, Ibi, there, Etiam nunc saxum in quod mutata est, lacrimare non desinit. There, even now, a stone uh, into which she was turned does not stop crying. So according to this myth, Naobi was turned into a stone, and she continues to cry. And apparently in the ancient world, if you had gone to this part of Asia Minor where Naobi was supposed to live, um, there was this fountain, um, this kind of spring that poured forth from the edge of a cliff in the mountains, and people said that that was Niobe turned into rock, still crying. All right, so again, the moral of this story, yeah, don't brag to the gods that you're better than them. Okay, I hope you learned a few things about the myth of Niobe and her seven sons and daughters, or about Apollo and Diana slash Artemis or maybe about Latin vocabulary 